Wow. Whoa. Ha ha ha. That's pretty cool. Oh my god. That would that would be my favorite camera. Okay, it doesn't get much bigger and badder than this. This is the new 2024 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 High Country Four Wheel Drive. This has the huge 6.6 .6 liter Duramax diesel, a turbo diesel that is a V8 and it gets 470 horsepower in this big diesel engine. And when I say big, I mean you could tow up to 22,500 pounds. You can tow a fifth wheel because this is a monster for towing and that's what it's meant for towing large rigs. This is the 2024 Silverado 2500 High Country. There are five trims of this new Silverado truck. There's the work truck trim, the custom, the LT, the LTZ, and the high country, and that's what we're driving here today. Now those who are familiar with the Silverado know that this is a new look for the Chevy Silverado. It's got a new front fascia, new headlights, new grille, it's got tow hooks that are standard, it has this hood scoop that is in fact truly functional. The truck bed is extra large with 83.5 cubic feet of space. It has hooks for tying down your cargo, it has a power tailgate with six different positions, including a step to help you get in and out of the tailgate. Very functional and a lot of versatility with this truck bed. There's also a 120 volt power outlet in the back so you could charge things up as you're at work or at play. Interior-wise, this is beautiful and huge. It's got a 13.4-inch diagonal screen in the center of the console, plus a 12.3-inch driver instrument cluster. All of them can be configured in any way that you want. All kinds of information right there on those two screens. There's a beautiful heads-up display that gives you lots of information, including space between the vehicle in front of you in the number of seconds, two and a half seconds, three seconds in front of you, gives you lots of information, including speed limit signs, speed you're going, navigation. It'll even give you the radio stations you're listening to right there in the full color heads-up display or HUD in this Chevy Silverado. We've got a wireless phone charger in this Silverado. It's stuck right in between the driver and passenger and it sits down very nicely and charges. It didn't charge with my case and pop up on my phone, but it did charge without that and it's nice and safe and secure in the spot. 15. 15? That's yes, way I was yeah, that is very that is, You must I really like it. Enjoyed all the extra space in the back of this cab, including that fold down center armrest. There's also under seat storage and the 60-40 split seat. So you could hide things down there that you don't need, but you know they're there when you do need them. 
So I gave my son, Lauren, who is really the truck guy in the family, a chance to check out the Chevy Silverado. Functional Silver Water, good scoop? Oh my water. God. Functional. That might be the impressed. first stock functional. Wow. That was one big motor. Now when it's hot, it automatically turns the heat cooling seats on. Yep. And when it's cold, it has the heated seats and the heated steering wheel that are automatically turned on. So it's a lot, got a lot of automatic stuff. It's got a great sound system. It figures out everything you want before you even want it. Yeah. Got all that stuff. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, isn't that cool? Journey through the trees. And I think it's fall because we're in October, of course. Journey through the wilderness. Isn't that cool? In my suburban driveway. Right in the back there. Ha ha ha. That's, that's a cool. digital mirror. Full, so it's a camera thing. Camera. Back there. Doesn't matter where it's pointed. Trailer brake. Oh. Trailer brake. Which actually is all digital on the screen, so we can turn up and down our game <laughs> for our trailer. Okay. I love how the little road underneath the truck. Oh, when you switch to when you switch to off road. Uh -huh. Look, now he's on dirt. Oh, the he's the on dirt. The, the picture is on dirt. Right, pictures. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do that again. Switch pictures it. off road. Uh huh. And now we're back to normal. <laughs> he's on, the on street. a paved road. <laughs> That's what that is. Okay. Look at cameras. Cameras. Plural. Yeah. So there's the, right, the front there's camera, the front. and then all those down below are oh, different. We got birds. a bird's eye of the front. Front. Yeah. Weird. How do they? Oh, it's in the grill. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, a side and the that's a trailer hitch. Oh my god, that would that would be my favorite camera. Oh, it couldn't get better as far as backing up is concerned. Yeah. Hooking up, hooking up to that fancy trailer you're about to pull. No like kidding. this make takes all the guesswork out of you. You just see you where see it is. All the truck, the trucks that everybody drives that has trailers will have ding, ding, yeah, because they're trying ding, to hit ding, it. Because you you miss and go you can't a little see too it. far. You're on a hill and it's a weird angle and. My truck has three or four little dings right there. You know? Sure. Oh, oh yeah, that's the a truck bed. Oh my gosh, oh. there's another one. truck Make bed, sure. uh, apparently the tailgate is down. Oh, you must yeah, have put it down. Put it down. down. Yeah. So it's, and it doesn't go power so up. So that's how you know your tailgate's yeah, down. While you're, and if you, can you access these while you're driving down the road? Because that would be I critical. think so, yeah, because I picked up some flowers earlier today from Green Acres and I just checked on them as I was driving. Of course, they're fine, but that's kind of cool. You can have cameras on your trailer connected to this. I guess so. That's pretty cool. Ah. And it tells you, so you can, you can, so you got to connect to your trailer and it'll tell you if the lights are working or if the brake lights are on, I'm guessing. Or if you tow trailers with any regularity. Yeah, you can know this. This is in your, you have to do this and otherwise you will, you know, you're. Have a problem. Any one of these things is like your mirrors in. Oh, there's a little light on the mirror. There's lights there. It shines right in your eyes. Perfect. Yeah. It's got a real plug. You yeah. Can do AC and it has wireless charging and a there. wireless charger. Oh, okay. Although I tried to use it and it didn't seem to work. That's actually an okay place for that. I like, I like that. Turn. Oh, what? really? It's seven, you... seven degree turn. 11, <laughs> 18, 19. Wow. Wow. And then we're going to go back and it's when would you need that there, though right? i haven't the slight hold on there you go now you can do it look at that so easy a child can do it yeah except for it's heavy and you're going to push the whole thing out you don't expect to get great fuel mileage when you're driving a large truck like this capable of towing 
very heavy loads, but in fact, this has a 36 gallon fuel tank that gives you a combined 13.8 miles per gallon driving this turbo diesel 6.6 .6 liter V8. That's about what I got in my weeks driving just around town, about 13 miles per gallon. Base MSRP for the 2024 Chevy Silverado 2500 Turbo Diesel High Country, $71,000. In fact, you add some packages, you add some options, and it totaled out as tested $87,285 for the 2024 Chevy Silverado 2500 High Country Turbo Diesel. When you are looking to tow and get out and enjoy nature, the Chevy Silverado 2500 turbo diesel with that 6.6 .6 liter V8 engine is what you need to get the job done. Get out, enjoy, tow what you need to, get to where you're going, and you've got the truck to do it all in. The 2024 Chevy Silverado high country, what a massive truck, one that you need to do whatever your family desires. On a scale of one to 10, with 10 being the best, what would you rate this truck? 15. 15? That's yes, way over 10. 10. That is, you must really like this truck.